Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Credit Cards Are Automatically Reducing Your Credit Limits. Before we begin, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to spread the word. Now, let's get started. There is something strange going on out there that is shocking credit card owners everywhere. I'm not just talking about people with bad credit. We're talking about people with good credit. One day they receive a letter or an email and they open it up and they find out that their credit limit has been reduced to the amount of the credit they currently owe. So if your credit limit used to be 15,000 and you have $10,000 uh, in debt on the card now, uh, that's owed by you to, to them, then that card can automatically lower your new credit limit to the balance of debt that you owe on that card. This means that you won't be able to purchase anything more on that card. All you'll be able to do is to keep paying down the debt over time. And this can happen to you even if you have a high credit score. So what does all this mean? Well, the first thing that card owners start thinking is that maybe their credit card company is in serious financial trouble. The next thing people think is that maybe the economy is much worse than they want us to know that it is. So they're automatically reducing your, your credit limits as you go. So what can cardholders start doing? Well, we don't give financial advice, but here's what we see a lot of other people doing. First and foremost, they're reducing their debt load. The first thing they do is to try and pay off their credit card debts as quickly as they possibly can. They start out by paying off the highest interest rate credit cards, and then they work their way down to the lowest interest credit cards. What's different this time is how they're even reducing the credit limit of people with good credit scores. The next thing that, that's happening is that people are moving to cash and assets, physical assets. They're trying to unload paper debt as fast as they can, and they're moving to cash, or they're moving to gold, or they're moving to income producing real estate or other investments. Nobody seems to want cash anymore. I'll tell you what else is interesting, and that is the speed with which people are making their move. It's being done with tremendous speed, and people are starting to treat cash like it's radioactive, because in some ways it is now. Why is that? Well, because inflation is stealing more of your cash every day. Every day you wake up with a little less cash and wealth than you had yesterday because of inflation. The other thing that's motivating credit card companies is the growing fear that if their customers don't pay off their debt soon, then they may not be able to ever pay off their debt when this whole thing collapses. It's like they're all engaging in a mad rush to get at your money before you lose it and they can't, uh, they can't collect it from you any further. They have to take the hit. There's another problem with credit card companies now. There are new financial systems and payment technologies coming out all the time that, are, uh, that will make owning and using a credit card even less attractive and financially beneficial. So because of that, the card companies are very anxious to make certain that they won't end up holding the short end of the stick when the financial lights go out. So what happens when people ask for a credit limit these days? Well, a lot of banks may grant an increase, but they won't give you very much. Some people will ask to have their credit limit increased by 5,000 or 50,000, and, uh, and the credit card company might give them one to 5% of uh, what they uh, request as an increase. That's not exactly comforting. And not surprisingly, in this tough economy, a lot of people are asking for credit line increases. We suspect that as the economy gets worse, People will just keep asking for more credit line increases. With that, I want to thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification uh, bell so you can be notified every time we post a new episode. Also, we ask that you uh, post a link to today's show on all your social media to help us get the word out. Thank you, and we shall see you soon. Goodbye.